Now let's uh, find uh, answer C and D. But let's do D, D first, find the profit maximizing level of output, and then do the diagram. So now what we already found the margin of revenue for the, um, for the firm is 90 minus 0 0.08 Q. Then we know that the firm is going to maximize uh, profits where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So we'll have to find the marginal cost, which we know is the derivative of total cost with respect to output, which in this case will be 0 0.1 uh, Q. And now we can make that equal to marginal revenue, so 0 0.1 Q equals 90 minus 0 0.8, 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.8 Q. And, um, and now we can try to uh, solve for Q uh, to try to find uh, the value that, of output that maximizes profits. So this will be 0 0.18 Q equals 90. So Q will be equal to uh, 90 divided by 0.18. And I'm doing this as I do it with you. So Q is 500. Um, so let's start kind of doing the diagram here as we solve this problem. This is Q. This is P. And we know that this intercept here is 90. And the marginal cost curve looks like it's a, it's a straight line. So let's say that this is marginal cost. And we know that marginal revenue is also a straight line with a slope that is twice the demand. And we just found out that that here is the um, level of output 500 that this uh, monopoly will produce, this is the demand curve, uh, to maximize profits. Uh, now, um, the question doesn't ask that, so we in general answer the question, but uh, another interesting or important question is how much the, com the company will price. Well, clearly the company is not going to price uh, this low because, you know, the company can simply go up to the demand curve and price all that. If people are willing to pay all that, there's no reason for the company to price uh, down here. So the price will be this, this price monopoly right here. And in order to find that, you need to replace the 500 in the demand equation. Not the marginal revenue, but on the demand equation. Because that is the demand curve. That's what the uh, monopolist will use to price. So um, we can try to solve for um, for the price by uh, by doing that. All right. And now we we um, we get that the price here will be equal to seventy dollars. Okay. So this is what we find out. This price right here, seventy dollars. So if uh, if this company was uh, controlled by a monopolist. The monopolist will produce 500 units of output and it will price at a price of $70.